Hi everybody, welcome to my show. This is Yusuf, and today I'm gonna show you an amazing shish kebab to make how to make that. What we need obviously is a meat, onion, some spices, paprika, one full uh, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, garlic powder, one full teaspoon, black pepper, half a teaspoon, a uh, chili powder, one full spoon, uh, salt and half a cup olive oil now we're gonna start by chopping very thinly the onion or i can do uh, meat first but i'd rather to do the onion first i'm gonna cut this to try to cut it thin and uh, Same thing with the other half. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside in the bowl till I get the meats ready for it. And so my meat is a, as I said, is a top cereal on a steak and uh, I just gonna trim the fat trying to to get the about one and a half inch thick so mine is not that thick because I got that last night and the butcher was not there so I had to get the pre-cut already and uh, okay I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you how to cut the meat itself okay as you see pretty much is very clean i cleaned it up uh, pretty good but uh, the reason that i choose this meat uh, top cereal on a steak uh, uh, you can do this with the filet mignon but the filet mignon is very lean and is not going to be as tasty as this one this one has a uh, lots of flavor in it so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to cut it you know trying to cut it about an inch and a half by inch and a half and uh, the reason that I try to is because when they cook, they cook, you know, equally when they get the heat. So it cooks at the same time. Okay, so we're going to do that. And uh, like this, make a cube. And I'm going to do all of them. Then I show you how to mix with the rest of the ingredients. And uh, I... I promise you if you just do the same thing it's a simple 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 way to to make a great shish kebab for yourself and your friend or family and it's very simple it's uh, not gonna take that much time except the timing for the marination you have to do it overnight in a uh, your fridge and uh, that's if you do it you're gonna get the best result I guarantee that you're gonna enjoy and love it and let me know how yours gonna be turned to okay and uh, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add all these things to my onion that I already sliced that what I'm gonna do right here I'm just gonna mix it and massage them with the onion to get the full flavor of the onion into the meat then I'm gonna add, before I add any of the spices, I'm gonna do, add the oil. So it's gonna get the, all together, all the, the spices stick to it. And that was about the half a cup uh, olive oil. This is very, very important that you do this. I think it's good enough. You can add all these spices, you know, all together, add them here and do the same thing, the massaging, the way that I was doing it. Mix them together very well. Some people, they don't put their salt in the beginning and they only do it when they put it in a skewer and but I prefer to put it at the same time it makes it much more tastier and 
actually instead of they think they're going to be uh, making a, a meat hard but it, it keeps the juice inside actually all right um i think i'm pretty good on this right now what i'm going to do i'm going to just put the lids on it and put it in the fridge for overnight and then i'm going to show you how to put it in a square and also to on the flame and I see the result at the end see the okay uh, we, uh, just coming back uh, it been overnight that I put the beef uh, marinated in a refrigerator and I just uh, gonna bring that and I just put it on a, a skewer and also at the same time I thought maybe you know I'm just gonna have the, some vegetables for the people they might not like the rice with it or just you know have it the vegetable which is there I choose a mushroom a bell pepper and onion uh, and zucchini I just put a little bit the olive oil actually and I just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt and a pepper and I just gonna put it on a skewer with the you can do it with the beef or separately and uh, kebab that so I'm gonna bring the beef here from the take it off as i said you know it's been enough time to be marinated which is i guess is going to be perfect and uh, just going to show you how to do that on the square and then we're going to go put it on a fire and i show you the result of that okay i'm going to do it you know uh, just a couple of them with just the beef itself and i'm going to make one uh, in just a mix of the vegetable and a beef and and the rest of the beef I mean the vegetable I'm gonna do the separate and uh, then you gonna show you what the outcome is gonna be I think it's gonna be delicious now I'm think and I am I'm, I'm sure 100% this perfect right size and now I'm gonna do this, uh, show you the, if you wanna do with the vegetable at the same time, you can use one of these. This one, then a couple of the onion. Then another piece of meat. All right, this is a mix. So I'm gonna show you one just to separate only the vegetable. It's might not stick for a all the time but you try to just do it easy to keep it there okay now nicely beautifully it's been on a stick the vegetable and a, a beef and also the combination i just put everything you know just to, to see the sample and then it's ready to go on a, a flame to be grilled Okay, here we are. The food is ready. I hope you're gonna enjoy as much as I do. And as you see, it looks great. I, I'm pretty sure the taste is gonna be good also. So just let me know uh, how was your coming out. And 
I see you next time. Thank you.